ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't ever miss an upload from me. And if you're an OD but a goodie, thank you so much for coming back for another video. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and this one's actually like a speed through so I'm just going to be sharing with you guys how I'm doing my makeup. So yeah, you're literally going to be getting ready with me and I just decided to go with something that was turquoise and smoky. Now normally I'm not a big fan of like matchy matchy. I just normally don't match my eye makeup with my clothing this much but today I was feeling I don't know like I guess you could say a little bit more spicy than normal so I just decided to kind of you know match it up a little bit and I am using my new lipstick mauve sugar that I created in collaboration with IGXO so I do have a link below in case you guys are interested in checking that out and you can still use the five dollar off coupon code and get the liquid lipstick for twelve dollars so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this look um, if you want to see how to get it then of course all you have to do is keep watching so I'm going to start off by prepping my skin and I'm using the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly which has been really amazing for my skin because it's been feeling really dry here lately. So now I'm going to take the Fenty Eye Primer and I've only used this a couple of times but it seems to work really well. So I'm just spreading it all over my eyelids so that um, my eyeshadow will last a little bit longer throughout the day. So for the eyeshadows we're going to be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Palette which is one of my favorite palettes. I really love it um so i'm gonna start off with a transitional shade and i'm just sweeping this in my crease area So I really like to layer my eyeshadow so I'm going in with a shade that's a little bit darker than that transitional shade and I'm applying it directly on top of it and whenever I go from lighter to darker it always helps the darker colors blend a little bit better so that's why I like to do this. Now I'm going in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Concealer and I'm using this as my base and it's going to help the eyeshadows that I apply to the lid area pop a little bit and I'm sort of kind of cutting the crease not really but I'm mainly using it as a base. So now I'm going to go in with this turquoise color and I'm going to apply it on like the first inner portion of the lid. And now from the palette, I'm going in with this darker aqua color. It's actually matte and it's really great for making a smoky eye. So I'm just applying this to the outer crease area. And now I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm just going back and blending everything so that it's all seamless and there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going in with this bright aqua color and I'm applying it between the crease color and the first color that I applied to the lid area. And this is really going to help the eyes pop a little bit and this color is really, really pigmented. Now I'm applying the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara just so that everything will blend together whenever I apply my fake eyelashes. And the eyelashes I'm using are by the brand Cake Face and this is the Style Gold Digger. And the primer that I'm using is for large pores. This is the NARS Pro Prime Pore Refining Primer and I'm gonna be using a NARS foundation so I just wanted to use a NARS primer. And the foundation that I'm using from NARS is the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation and I really love this. It gives me really great coverage but it's not thick and heavy or anything like that. And then for the highlight under my eyes, on my chin, and on my forehead, I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Concealer, which is a really great concealer. I've been using it for a few months now, and I really love the coverage that it gives me. And it doesn't crease really easily. I have worn this without setting it, and it seems to be pretty good, but I do prefer to set it. And the setting powder that I'm applying is by Hourglass. This is a new one that they have, and I really, really love it. Um, it doesn't leave a flashback and it gives great coverage. It doesn't change the color of the concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzing Powder, which is my favorite one. I use the shade 07 and I'm just bronzing up the face and now I'm going back and sweeping away the powder. The contouring, I love to use the Makeup Geek Contouring Powder. So I'm using the shade Half Hearted and it just gives me a really natural contour. And then for my highlight, I'm using the Anastasia, Anastasia, however you pronounce an Amrezy highlighter. 
I'm gonna apply some blush to the apples of my cheeks and I'm using Makeup Geek's Infatuation Blush. And for my waterline, I'm using the Artisy in Monster Eyeliner, which I can no longer find. I don't know if they've discontinued it or what. I'm going back with some mascara and applying it to the bottom eyelashes. And for my lips, I'm gonna go in and line them with Kylie Cosmetics True Brown K. And for the liquid lipstick, I'm using IGXO and Nitra B Mauve Sugar, which you can get right now for $12 if you use the promo code SUGAR5. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in checking out my liquid lipstick, I will have a link and a discount code listed below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye!